Hey everybody, it's me, G1 Rider with G1 Insights, and this is going to be for Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising, or Venus and Aries. This is for the Aries man and the Aries woman, okay? First off, I just want to say thank you to all of you that have shown me the love and support that I so very well needed. Thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you for watching. I thank you guys just for showing up, you know? So, this is going to be your energy for October through December, okay? So, for three months, October, November, and December. It's the end of the year almost, and we have so much to look forward to in 2022. But we need to get through these next three months, so allow me to present to you your life and love energy, okay? We're going to start off with some Terror Wisdom cards here, all right? This is one of my favorite decks. The messages are always clear, very beautiful, um, you know, so bear with me, okay, guys? All right. So this message is for Aries, Summon, Rising, or Venus, and Aries, Aries, Man, and Aries, Woman. Here we go. Thank you, thank you, thank you. October, November, and December. Mm, so you got the Ten of Swords, okay? So there's definitely an ending to something, okay? Or there has been some type of ending to a difficult situation, all right? I don't know if you guys can see that really good. It says this is the end of a difficult situation that brings relief, some type of relief from sadness or grief or maybe even both, Okay, maybe you guys were going through some financial rough times or going through some emotional trauma. Maybe a lot of you guys have not really been feeling like yourself for the past few months. Okay, but this is the end of a difficult situation. Okay, for a lot of you. It says there is an opportunity for new happiness, new found happiness. The weight is now being lifted all up off of your shoulders. This is the end of an addiction. Okay, this is a melodramatic reaction to something. Okay, so something definitely had you down, um, feeling really, um, again, out of place, not really feeling like yourself lately. I'm just spending a lot of time in your head, spending a lot of time overthinking or overanalyzing. Okay, it is time for you to put the pieces back to the puzzle, Aries. Okay, it's time for you to get back to you. It's time for you to get back happy again, to be with your friends again, to, um, you know, to just start to enjoy life again. You know, you're going to, there's going to be like this moment, especially in the month of October, because we have Mercury retrograde, right? So in the month of October, we are dealing with a lot of realizations, things coming to the surface, so there are going to be moments where you realize a truth. This can be a truth about someone else or just simply even about yourself. Like maybe about your own characteristic, maybe about your own behavior. This can also be a reflection of you wanting more, something more out of life, okay? So maybe you are putting an end to something that you are just frankly fed up with, okay? You could be walking away from a relationship, some of you, okay, not all of you, but some of you are definitely walking away from a relationship. Uh, maybe you're fed up with the lies. You're fed up with the cheating, fed up with the, you know, um, you could just be fed up. I don't even, <laughs> I just keep feeling like you're fed up, okay? Especially if this is a love situation for some of you, you're definitely saying the hell with this and giving it a go. You're like, I'm done, you know? And that might be a good thing for you, Aries. I mean, I feel like that's just definitely, especially those of you that have been sad and finding yourself being depressed and you know that that's not you and you know that you are normally happy and filled with life. And then it's like every time you turn around, this person is being disrespectful or they're lying to you or uh, maybe they have betrayed you, okay? This can be closing the chapter to an ex. Maybe you're tired of taking them back. You know, getting back with them, breaking back up with them. We're getting back together. We're breaking up again. Maybe you're really just fed up this time, okay? Very good for you, Aries. You're packing your shit, though. A lot of you are packing up, all right? Now, I also see here the Ten of Wands. So, like I said, this is interesting because this is 
double energy saying that you're fed up, you're tired, you're frustrated, you want more out of life, you're done dealing with the heartache, the pain, the annoyances, like you're through with it, okay? You're through with the jealousy, you're through with the possessiveness, you're through with the ignorance of this person, okay? A lot of you, this could be a job. Maybe you're just frustrated doing the same old type of job over and over and over. Maybe you now want something more. You want to do something different, something you've never done before, okay? But it says a lot of you could be working too hard or working too many hours, not really feeling like you're getting your fair share. Maybe you don't feel like... um the job is paying you enough money. Okay, but there's a need for balance here. So don't be afraid to ask for help if you need it. There's a need for balance. Let others help you. If you know that you have a good support system, you have friends that absolutely will be there for you, that love you. It's nothing wrong with saying, hey, listen, I first I want to apologize for my, you know, the way I've been lately, but I really need to see you. Or maybe I really need to spend some time with you. I really need to talk with you. You know, it's something personal that's been going on with me. I haven't really been feeling like myself. I'm sure that this person will be understanding, okay? There can also be some newfound health issues as well due to stress, all right, for some of you. Not all of you, for some of you, though. Now, the good thing is we do have the dreamer card here, okay? Now, guys, I am going to get clarity on all of this, so don't feel like, oh, my God, it's starting off crazy. It sounds negative, like... Just hold your horses. <laughs> I'm sure that this could be past energy because that's what I feel like. Again, you're moving on. You're either moved on or you're moving on. Okay, so this could be an energy that you were dealing with. And again, in the month of October, you could just be spending a lot of time reflecting about what you want. Okay, with the wands energy here in the um, sword energy. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of analyzing, a lot of overthinking, and a lot of stress that has kept you in this place of like darkness in a sense okay um but you know like i said good news here though i see a fresh beginning a new start so again there is a chance for an opportunity here so it's almost as if you actually leaving this person or leaving this situation is going to actually benefit you okay so it's okay if you are afraid have faith, okay? Because all is not lost. I know sometimes it's scary to like, wow, I don't know what to do. This might not even necessarily mean a loss. I mean, maybe it could just signify the end into a difficult situation. You are now moving into like that new home, that dream job. You know, this can be good news arriving to you soon. By the end of, by the end of October... Clarity will return to you. Again, Mercury is retrograding in October, so don't take everything for face value. Just be patient, and the answers will come to you by the end of October, okay? But going into the month of November, there is definitely new promises here for new beginnings, new opportunities, a new job, a new home, a new spouse, maybe even a new baby for some of you. So it looked like things are going to initially work out in your favor, but either you walked out or somebody else walked out or something is moving past here. Like something is moving on. All right. But you need to trust yourself, Aries. It says to push your, push your fears aside and take that leap of faith. So if you are afraid of walking out, like I said, have faith. Be patient with the process. You might be afraid of letting go that stability. You might be afraid of letting go that relationship because maybe you, you've been so used to it for so many years. It's been like six, seven years for some of you, probably longer, and you've been in this situation. This, I feel like strongly for a lot of you, this could be a job or a housing matter, okay? And maybe that's why you don't want to leave this person because you're afraid of not knowing. Like the, the idea of just not knowing frustrates you, okay? So you're looking for answers. But during like a retrograde, don't pressure yourself. By the end of October, you will see that the answers will come to you. Should I continue to be friends with this person? Should I move into that house? Should I have this baby? You know, should I get that car? You know, should I move out the country? Should I relocate somewhere new? You know, it's going to be a lot of things that you have questions about now, maybe. 
by the end of October, things are going to begin to flow. And like I said, going into that first week of November, the answers will definitely begin to come to you even more if they didn't already, okay? So just trust the process. But let's get clarity on why the Ten of Swords is here. Why is the Ten of Wands here? Why is the Dreamer card here? Not that I'm mad because that's a beautiful energy, all right? So let's see. Why is the Ten of Swords here for Aries? Someone rides on a Venus and Aries or Aries man or Aries woman. Why is the Ten of Swords here? The Eight of Wands. Again, guys, there's that energy. Somebody is moving on to either a better place. Literally, I mean, literally, like, moving on to a better place. Whether this is, again, a new home, a new relationship, a new job. Some of you are definitely saying, fuck the past, I'm ready to go. The Eight of Wands is a fast-moving energy. So it's like, and that maybe is also what kind of scares you is that, Things are moving kind of fast. And you're like, wow. Even though I'm, that's your energy anyway, though, right, Aries? Like, normally you're quick thinking. You're on your feet. You know, you're always keeping up on your toes. You know what to do, right? You take action very swiftly. Like, you're never the one to complain about action. You love action, right? So, yeah, maybe it does feel good to have things kind of moving along for you. Maybe you are feeling, you know, ready to take things by storm. But you know what? Don't be impulsive. Like I said, in the beginning of November, clarity will come to you. So don't be in such a hurry to sign that lease. Don't be in such a hurry to break that contract. By the end of October, going into November, you're going to sit and maybe even have your clarity now. You're going to say, now nah, I'm good. I want to keep my stability or I want to keep this apartment or I want to keep this car. I'm not going to switch it out just yet. Um... Yeah, I'm not ready to have kids right now. I think I'm going to wait. Like, it's going to be... Like, so basically, everything that you could have been feeling between July and October, you're, it's like your perception is changing. Your feelings are changing. Delays are over. So again, this is the end of a difficult situation for a lot of you. All right? This is really good news, Aries. I told you. I feel like you're working through something. You're moving past something. The Ten of Wands. Why is the Ten of Wands here? The Ace of Cups. I'm telling you, my love, you had the support system. You had the support system. You had the love. You had the abundance. There's a lot of celebrations going on. A lot of celebrations for a lot of you, okay? Marriage, maybe. Engagement, maybe. Pregnancy. That new house. Are you having a housewoman? If you do, do it. Either at the Mercury retrograde or maybe early next year, okay? The energy will be a lot different, trust me. This is going to be amazing. You see that it says new home? So I definitely was feeling something with moving. I'm serious, guys. Maybe that's what it is, too. Maybe I mean, shit, moving can be kind of stressful. Packing, unpacking, and <laughs> decorating. You know, especially if you're doing it all by yourself. It's, this can be very stressful. Okay, but falling in love, a lot of you could be falling in love or again, this is the resurgence of a relationship. Some of you might think about taking the next back. Wait until November before you do that. Okay, all right, but it's talking about resurgence of some type of relationship or falling in love with someone new. Okay, this is also spiritual growth, enhanced intuition. Or a new home. Somebody could be moving in. Somebody could be moving out. You could be renovating. You know. Painting. You could be building something for your new home. Maybe building a baby crib. Alright. Why is the dreamer card here? Let's see. Uh oh. Two. The nine of cups. Oh my god. I'm telling you. Listen, honey, trust the process, okay? I know you're afraid, but I'm telling you, trust the process. Look at that, honey. Your wishes are coming true. Wishes are being granted at this time. I'm telling you, Aries, this is beautiful. A new start, a new beginning, falling in love, the end of a difficult situation. I mean, need I say more, okay? This is beautiful energy, I mean, aside from the little hiccups and the little headaches every now and then, you're going to be just fine, Aries. Like, you're literally ending your 2021 with a bang. You're like, you know what? 
I just want to be happy at the end of the day. If you're not trying to be in my world and keeping me happy, you know, bye, okay? <laughs> so you're definitely clearing your energy. You're clearing away what no longer serve you. This is beautiful energy. I cannot lie. Like, this is beautiful energy. I love the transition. Like, I love how you're going from being discontent, being fed up, being really tired, to like, you know what? The heck with this. If it's over, let it be over. If he don't want to be with me, fine, right? Many things are happening at once. So again, it could be multiple things, multiple opportunities, okay? So this is good. Maybe before you move to this place, maybe you're saying, hey, I need, a, I need to find a job closer to my new home, you know? And maybe you'll find out that you got the house and the new job that's really convenient to each other, Okay? This is good. If you guys have been seeking to be fertilized, okay, or get your significant other pregnant or whatever the case is, then you definitely may hear that news as well sometime in November and December. So this is going to be interesting, okay? Let me pull out the love cards, honey, because I see love a lot here, but I also see changes, transformations. Wow, all the love cards just fell out. Okay, thank you very much, universe. Ooh, I already shuffled, but if you want me to go again, no problem. All right. All right, so guys, this is a beautiful deck. The love cards, I love them. Beautiful. Uh, first time using them ever. Well, online anyway. So, you guys are not the first to use them with me, but this is my first time doing this deck. So, bear with me, okay, as I channel your love energy. Aries, I thank you and I love you so much. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising, or Venus, and Aries. This is for the Aries man and the Aries woman. Thank you for showing me Aries overall love energy. Friendship. Nurture the bonds of friendship within your love life, and it will dramatically improve. Healing. Okay, 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 okay. Very beautiful. All right, so friendship. Okay, it says nurture... The bonds of friendship within your relationship and your love life will dramatically improve. Okay? So again, nurture the bonds of friendship within your relationship, okay? That means you're going to nurture your friendships through your partner, through you. You guys need to come together a bit more to celebrate again together more, um, open up with each other a bit more, learning to be a lot more honest with each other. Or maybe just simply being with this person makes you feel like you found your significant other. Like maybe it makes you feel special. Maybe you feel like you do have a friend in your partner. And that, let me tell you something, that is a beautiful feeling, by the way. Like it's nothing better than being in love with someone who is literally your best friend. Like you guys can talk about anything, anything under the sun. Like anything from politics to romance to horror films, you know, like, it, I mean, the list just go on with this person. So, um, and maybe that's why you did have to leave that old situation. So you can now develop something that actually heals you. Okay. Something that actually motivate you and make you feel good inside. Now you got a message from the universe. Okay. It says, close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful. You can allow joy into your life, regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in. Aries, I told you, all is not lost, honey. You deserve it. You deserve that happiness. Don't let nobody tell you nothing different. You deserve that new home. You deserve to be in love and to be loved correctly. You deserve to, you know, walk into an atmosphere where someone completely adores you. You deserve this, okay? No more of this. No more feeling drained. No more feeling spiritually drained or emotionally drained. No more of that. Okay? You deserve this, Aries. Absolutely. And then last but not least, we got healing. Imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being healed this very moment. Okay? So, again, a lot of you could be, again, going through that resurgence. Getting back with someone. Maybe you did leave this person. Maybe you did leave this person. And they're coming back. Mm. Okay? Are you guys going to marriage counseling? Are you guys 
um, getting back together for the sake of the children? Are you guys, um, you know, just taking it one day at a time, taking it easy, taking it slow, not rushing into anything? That's a beautiful energy. I just love that it went from, oh my God, I'm so frustrated and fed up to it is time for me to heal and to be happy. I deserve joy. I deserve to smile. I deserve happiness. And you're absolutely correct. Again, this could be a love of a lifetime if you let it be, honey. Okay? I feel like for some of you, your ex, maybe they have changed. Maybe they have made some dramatic changes and said, you know what? I, this is what I want. I want you. I want you and my kids. Like, this is what I want. So maybe this is going to be like an emotional time. You know, maybe <laughs> maybe that's why you guys are going to get pregnant again. I don't know. I'm just speaking. But listen, I don't know. The energy is, is <laughs> very strong. Okay. But anyway, guys, so last but not least, we are going to take a good look into your soul, your soul journey. We're going to ask Spirit for some guidance. Okay. So please show Aries some moon horizon or Venus and Aries overall life and love energy, life and love guidance. Is there anything that Aries need to know? Is there anything that Aries need to be aware of? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for guidance. Thank you for clarity. Peace. <laughs> of course you would get that. Peace. Ah, yes, universe. You better give Aries peace. Give them a peace of mind, a peace of joy, a peace of abundance, a peace of love absolutely just peace 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 okay i am a being of love and i release all negative energy i am not fighting with you i'm not arguing with you i'm not going to fight with you over child support i'm not going to fight with you over custody i'm not going to fight with you about the past it happened if we're going to be together we got to let it go we're going to work on our spirit we're going to come together and work things out we are going to compromise and help heal each other we are going to support and love one another. Peace. I want peace and harmony in my world. Okay? Even if it's not a love thing, guys, this could be about your friendships. Peace. Make peace with that person. Okay? Because when we think about love, you know, we it, it doesn't always have to be romance. It doesn't have to be with your significant other. It could be family love. It can be children love. But at the end of the day... Like I said, Aries, it seems like that's all you want is just to be happy. And you got to stop thinking that people don't want you to be happy. Get that out of your mind. Okay? The more you say that, you are projecting that into the universe. Okay? And what you put out there is definitely what you're going to get back. That That's the law of attraction. That's the way that the cycle works. We have to be careful about what we project or what we say. Okay? So, Aries, I love you. And this reading was so simple and beautiful and positive. Like, I literally have nothing bad to say at all. Like, I have nothing bad to say. I have nothing <laughs> that I need to, like, go against. Okay? So, I love you. Thank you guys once again for tuning in. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And stay tuned, guys, for the rest of the month as I go into um, my release date for my book. I have some surprises for you guys. So, stay tuned. And I will see you guys soon. Bye.